Hey, welcome in. Well, folks, we got another glorious case of the left eating itself. And it's inevitable. There's so many rules on the left now that nobody can hope to remember them all. And don't forget the whole edifice is built upon the worship of oppression. That's the coin of the realm. In the woke world, being oppressed is power. So pretending to be oppressed pays. And when they're looking for an oppressor to blame, friend will do just as well as foe. And it's getting clearer and clearer that when you're part of the left, you don't have any real friends. You just have ruthless competitors clawing their way to the top of the progressive stack. And that's how you get stuff like this. Apparently, uh, Kirsten Cinema isn't by enough. Here's a headline from uh, Lux Alptrom. Uh, is Arizona's Kirsten Cinema bad for bisexual Americans? Bisexual women are constantly told we're untrustworthy that our attraction to multiple genders means we're more likely to cheat. I don't know. Sounds like the bees might be getting a little jealous of the tees these days, doesn't it? But for my part, I've always been pro-bisexual woman. And that's for selfish reasons, of course. And as long as they're hot, obviously. I mean, the rest of them can do whatever they want, of course. But I'm not going to be Googling that. Because I'm not biphobic. I don't have any irrational fear of anything. Well, except for a Hannah Gatsby comedy special, but uh, wait a second. Actually, that's perfectly rational. So no, I don't have any phobias. So here we have uh, an article by a bisexual woman who is apparently being oppressed by another bisexual woman. And I guess that uh, Kirsten Cinema is bisexual. I actually had no idea until I saw this article, but okay, whatever. And of course, this article is extremely left-wing and... Uh, and hysterical, it wasn't that long ago that embattled Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema was hailed as a triumph of bisexual representation. What does that matter? I still don't understand this. Why does that matter? I mean, isn't it just whether you're good at your job or not? Shouldn't that be it? Like, I don't, I still don't understand why there is value in that and just having any identity. But unfortunately, with the left these days, it just goes without saying. It's assumed that there's some virtue in that. But anyway, let's see. After she was sworn in, uh, out, I guess that's a magazine, celebrated the first openly bisexual senator as a rebuke to Trumpism. Trump wasn't against bisexual people or gay people or, or anything like that at all. Trump was the first president to support gay marriage before he became president. He, he just literally didn't care, right? Anyway, anyway, positioning the sassy lawmaker, <laughs> sassy lawmaker, okay, in opposition to homophobic then-Vice President Mike Pence. I have not seen any evidence that uh, Mike Pence had an irrational fear of gay people. I just haven't seen it, but you have to understand, for these people, it's like a religion, right? They just go on faith, but anyway... So the problem apparently that left has with cinema now is that she's an unreliable centrist and a self-absorbed democratic turncoat, more fixated on getting attention and lining her own pockets than uplifting her community. No longer a bi icon. She's now held up as a cautionary tale about the limits of representation. So she's a politician. Anyway, the real crime here is that she's not just going along with everything that Biden wants to do. Because she's decided now to style herself as a moderate, when once she was basically a, a Green Party socialist. But anyway, but sentences like these are just, uh, it's, I feel like I'm in another universe when I read them. As a bisexual woman, okay, full stop, that gets you nothing. That gets you absolutely nothing. Unless you're hot. <laughs> but that gets you nothing, okay? That doesn't mean anything. Anyway, and one who, uh, like cinema, is white and cisgender. Don't care. What are your ideas? Don't care. What I care about is that you obviously have terrible ideas. That's the only thing that really matters. Anyway, she says, uh, I now cringe every time the senator makes the headlines. And this article is really just about the person who wrote the article, it turns out. By women are constantly told we're untrustworthy, that our attraction to multiple genders means we're more likely to cheat. What she's really saying here is, look at how interesting I am because of my identity. That's what she's really saying. We're called greedy for finding more than one gender attractive, confusing for liking more than one gender, and self-absorbed. Self-absorbed, you say? Hmm. Okay. Because apparently our brains are unable to think about much beyond our own sexual gratification. 
Well, you said it, not me. Within the LGBTQ community, bisexuals can be viewed as fair-weather members at best, likely to bail the second we stop having fun. Media outlets might not be talking about Cinema's sex life, but her political reputation as greedy, unreliable, and attention-seeking echoes many of the stereotypes my community has been dealing with for years. Your community? What's that, the threesome community? <laughs> I mean, look, nobody gives a shit. I, I think I can say that in confidence. Nobody cares what bisexuals do. I mean, look, this article has nothing actually to do with Christ, Kristen Cinema. It's about the person who wrote this getting attention for herself and saying, look at how oppressed I am. That's it. Quote, is she bad for bisexuals? I find myself wondering on a nearly daily basis. <laughs> oh, come on. On a nearly daily basis, this woman asks herself if Kirsten Cinema is bad for bisexuals. All right. That sounds healthy. Um, it feels uncharitable to put so much responsibility on one woman's shoulders. Nobody's keeping score. Nobody cares. No, nobody's oppressing you. Who would bother to take the time to oppress you? Hey, fellas, let's go out and oppress some bisexual women. Unless they're hot. I mean, maybe we could buy them some drinks. I don't know. Well, you never know what could happen, right? I mean, um, no, nobody's oppressing you. The world is not obsessed with bisexual women. But it just goes on like this. Like, one obvious answer is that bisexuals have a unique perspective. What she means is that she has a unique perspective that we all need to listen to because she's so special. I mean, so much of this just feels like a non sequitur. Here, bisexual women are also extremely vulnerable to poverty. Really? I guess there needs to be a national action committee on, on that, I guess. So this is an example of the left eating itself. It's an example of a, you have a democratic politician who isn't doing what she wants. And so therefore she's a bad bisexual because as is always the case with the left these days, the whole identity thing is only an asset as long as you have the right ideas. And as soon as what you do differs at all from the uh, tenets of the uh, woke religion, you lose your diversity card. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.